Hello, my name is Billy Joe. So, this reading is intended intended for specifically for cross watching. Okay, so if you are dealing with someone who has Capricorn in their chart, whether that's their Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, then this is for you. So always make sure that. Um, so if this <laughs> only take what resonates with you, right? So if this does not resonate with you and this is their sun sign make sure you look at their their moon and their rising and their venus as well you know maybe one of those other ones will resonate with you as well you know better or as well whatever um so your capricorn you know this may resonate 100 percent but it's very unlikely because there's so many people that watch these videos so much different energy that's being pulled on that you have to remember they're not always going to resonate with you and if they don't that's okay just let it go and we go with the flow okay so only take the parts of the messages that resonate for you okay so we're going to look at your capricorn love um, whether this is someone you've been in a long-term relationship with, maybe this is someone you're in a relationship with but you're at a distance, or this may be someone that's a new flame for you. Um, also could represent, you know, um, an ex, whatever, however it resonates for you. Um, so I'm going to look at your person's thoughts about you, how they think about you, um, what goes on in their mind and their headspace when they're thinking about you. I'm going to look at their feels, how they're feeling, what's going on in their heart space. And we're, then we're going to take a look at um, what, it, what your Capricorn's intended actions towards you are. First deck I'm using for their thought process is the Arcanum Tarot. And we're going to look and see... What does your Capricorn think about when they think of you? We have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is someone who feels things very deeply. They think that you're, you know, I wouldn't say emotional. They, I, I would say feeling things deeply. Because the King of Cups is not an emotional person. The King of Cups does not uh, fall into drama. You know, doesn't give in to temper tantrums. Um, the thing about the King of Cups is, is he feels things very deeply, but yet he doesn't allow his emotions to rule him. He rules his emotions. Never overacts. He always takes each given situation and he thinks it through before he um, goes forward with his emotions. Okay. Then we have the King of Pentacles. So it's funny we have two kings here because they they may think of you as being the divine masculine in the connection. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. Either gender can hold that energy. So energetically, you're the they see you as the go-getter, okay? You're the one who is the active energy between the two of you. And the feminine energy is usually the one that's more receptive and the masculine is more active so they see you as more of the active um energy you know the king of pentacles this is someone who um is very generous financially stable um very um <laughs> very well off they see you as someone who's probably you know has a good career has a good heart um, you know how to save your money. We have the Eight of Pentacles. This is someone who puts a lot of hard work. They're, they're into the details. And they're going to do what they can to make everything work out. Okay. So they see you as someone who's, who's all these amazing, wonderful things. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords. So for some of you, it may resonate that you cut them out of your life. You may have cut it because she cuts out the bullshit. She is not one to just sit there and wait around for you to get your shit together. No. She, and if you've ever lied to her, she's going to cut you out. She wants honesty. She wants truth. Okay. 
And she's not about to put up with no shit. She ain't going to give her power away. And that's how they view you. Someone who stands in their power. And that is over the page of swords. So definitely, you you probably used your tongue as your sword and let them, you unleashed hell <laughs> onto them. You let them know just how you was, they, you was not being satisfied. You know, what you was upset with, what is not working and what is. But they don't blame you for that because they, you know, these cards up here seem to be positive cards. So, <laughs> let's get some clarifiers for how they think about you. The Capricorn thinking about you. I'm going to use these Masculine Madness deck by Bridget Rowe of Divine Essentials. So, it doesn't matter if it says Masculine Madness, because I'm just going to use these as oracles for the energy, okay? If you or your person is fem female or feminine energy, just take it how it resonates, okay? So, to clarify, the King of Cups, we have Seduction. I fantasize about you every night. <laughs> so, they think that... You still fantasize about them, but you're not, you know, like the King of Cups doesn't express this very, he's not, he doesn't really express his emotions. They probably think that you don't express the desire you have for them. So, I mean, a little egotistical Capricorn, um, <laughs> to clarify that the King of Pentacles, we have studying body, mind, soul, exploring every inch of you. So, in 3D aspect, they think that you watch them, that maybe you, they stalk them on their social media. Um, <laughs> this person thinks you want them. It doesn't matter if you cut them loose. It's like I'm getting a real strong sense they think they can get you back. Like, they may even ask you, hey, you been with anyone else yet? And if you say no, they're thinking, ha, huh, I can get it back. <laughs> now, to clarify the this this eight of pinnacles here this beautiful i love these cards they're so pretty to clarify that we have soul cleanse i've been purifying my mind and soul so again it's it's just this energy of um you've been putting work into yourself and even though you've been putting work into yourself um so that means a lot of you may be practicing celibacy since you since this person and you, you've let them go. And when you do that, you do it for purification, for standing in your power and doing healing. But for them, they just see you being celibate as not moving on. They don't, you know, they're not really, I'm not getting they really know the reason why that you're staying pure. Okay. Um, they just see, they think that you still fantasize. They think they still have a chance. Bottom of the deck, grasping. I can't let go. It's not that I can't let go. They won't let go. They think that you still want them. Even though you're the one that cut them loose. So, I mean, seriously. Let's get a couple more cards. <laughs> for Capricorn. What do they think about when they think of you? Like, for real. And these, I'm going to pull these two cards from the Lover's Oracle deck. <laughs> so, Capricorn. So, we have this card. And it says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. They think that they're still in your heart. And that you cut them loose because you're not happy. But if you follow your heart instead of your mind, it'll lead you back to them. Okay. And then we have this card. It says passion. A magnet magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Again, it's that sexual chemistry. They think that sexual chemistry, that chemistry can just lure you back in. Because in my head, I'm seeing someone standing at the banks throwing in this, this 
hook trying to catch that fish they're baiting them in and he gonna this person gonna use their passion their seduction they're gonna try and lure you back in with sex they think that's how they can get you wow <laughs> and then if you go for it they think oh well there's that that cord tying you back together where you tried to cut it away now they're gonna lure you back in so how does your Capricorn feel about you? I'm going to use the Enchanted um, Love Tarot deck to look and see how your Capricorn feels about you. How does your Capricorn feel about you in their heart space when it comes down to it? We have four of shells. It's like the four of cups reevaluation. <laughs> That's that sense of you, you know, they're just looking at, they're not realizing the opportunities they have because they're too busy dwelling on the failures, the things that didn't work. Okay. Three of Roses. That's like the Three of Wands opportunity. They're standing at the bank, watching and waiting for that opportunity that they can get you back. Okay? The Devil card, Seduction. Of course, the Devil. That is the Capricorn right there. He's the Devil that's trying to try and lure you back in with the dick. Okay? That's all there is to it. He's waiting for the opportunity. He's waiting and waiting, you know. And there may have been opportunities in the past because of the four of shells. They didn't see that opportunity. They didn't take that opportunity. Now the question is, is it too late? So bottom of the deck is the eight of gems. Perfectionism. So um, <laughs> that's like... They're again, they're waiting for the right perfect opportunity to come sneaking back in. But two of gems that's that balancing card, okay? That's you know, it says change down here that perfect time to change your mind, okay? It, it the feelings, as far as feelings go, it's, it's the feeling of not letting go. The feeling of, um, it's like a physical connection, not really love. There's not really love there. It's just that <clears throat> the sex is good, and that's about it. It's like they, they didn't give the opportunity to, you know, with the four cups. You probably came in tried to offer them your heart. You tried to offer them love. You tried to give them a home. You tried to give them everything. But they didn't see it. They didn't see it. All they see is this, this, this sexual chemistry between you. And it's like, they, it's like they're confused between love and lust. To clarify the four of shells, we have the number 32, surrender, ready to follow you anywhere. There it is. You surrendered to them. You gave them your all. You gave them your all. They didn't see it. They just didn't see it. They didn't recognize it. To clarify the Three of Roses. Number 37. Reminded of you constantly. Synchronistic, synchronicity. So as they're sitting there waiting on the banks. Waiting for the perfect opportunity. It's like they're constantly hearing your name. Um, they may be seeing signs and synchronicities. They may. Like if they're dri driving down the road. And the billboard talks you know, um, such and such date, and that date happens to be your birthday, or the date that y'all first started going out, your first date, you know, um, to clarify the devil card, we have number 43, jealousy, I've been watching you, <laughs> yeah, it, they're just waiting for that opportunity, you know, bottom of the deck, I promise I'll never let go, infinite, they're not letting go of this energy. You tried to cut them loose. They're still there. Okay. Again, I don't see any love. They're jealous. Maybe you moved on. You're with somebody else and they are jealous. 
they, you know, of course I'm getting the sense of most of you, you haven't like, maybe you just talking to some other people, but I don't really sense that you've actually went into that um, having sex yet. But the fact that you just talk to people, I think maybe possibly they look through your friends list on Facebook, on Instagram, they look at, in, at everything. They look at who leaves comments. They're probably question who's this person and who is that person. And they're so jealous. Like they can't even stand themselves. And they just, you know, they want to do whatever they can to, to get you. Okay. So out of the romance angels, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So they're waiting, again, that sense of waiting for that perfect opportunity to come in and strike. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So you already know. You already know. Don't fall into this. Don't do it. It's a trap. Bottom of the deck, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. To me, that's just saying there's too many differences there to actually fall for this you you already know you can you already see the signs you already know that this is nothing but lust that promise of a happily ever after that life you're looking for that love is not in this person you know it's just a physical connection and nothing else so Let's use the beginning tarot deck and look at what is Capricorn's intended action towards you. What is Capricorn's intended actions towards you? What do they plan on doing about this lust they have? Pay the wands. They're probably going to send you a picture of their dick. They're going to send you a dick pic. But let me show you what you're missing. You know you want this girl. You'll be like, uh, delete and block. <laughs> we have the hermit card. Mm. They plan on shedding light <laughs> on the dick pic. <laughs> this is retarded. Like, no. So the hermit, you know, this is, they're alone. You're alone. They're uh, trying to shed light on reasons why you should be with them. And the only thing they have is, is the dick. I hate having to say that. I hate it. But it's true. You get the double card again. They're going to try and seduce you. That's all there is to it. They're going to seduce you. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands. <sighs> Here's the deck. Take it. It's here for the taking. Stroke it. I want you to have it. Let's move forward with this. Stop going against me. Stop trying to go in different directions. Let's straighten up and go and do this together. <laughs> they are, if nothing else, they're persistent. So, <laughs> let's get some clarifiers on your Capricorn. That dirty little devil. Clarify the page of wands. We have blue, she who loved once. Fragile, secret love, rejection. So, you know, you loved them once. You got reeled in once before. Why ain't it going to work again? Use the same thing that worked before. Okay. Then to clarify the hermit, we have... Valeris, she who flies. 
dare do reach. Yeah, they're going to reach out for you. They're that, they're that monster under your bed that's going to reach out and grab your ankle. <laughs> and then to clarify the devil card, we have Jocelyn. She who persists. Perceptive. Defiant. Persistent. There's a word persistent again. They're not going to give up. They're going to keep on and keep on and keep on. You know, they don't care. They don't care. They just want to, you know... They want to be with you. They want to, you know, <laughs> they want to make that happen. The only way they know how. <laughs> so, if this resonates with you, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, like, you did the right thing. You walked away. You cut them loose. Just keep on walking. You might want to do, um, those of you that this resonates with, it would be good to um, research and do some um, cord cutting rituals, the spell to cut cords, energetic cords, so that way they can't continue to try to feed off your energy and send you that sexual energy and try to keep on connecting back with you. You're going to have to cut, you know, change your number too if you want to. Change your number, block them on social media. You did the right thing. Keep on moving. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.